Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Bruce and today I want to present the new British tier 7 wheeled medium tank, the FSV scheme Alpha. How good is this tank and can it compete against regular medium tanks on its tier? Let's find out in this video. British wheeled medium tech tree is the second one in the game which incorporates wheeled tanks. Apart from the French wheeled lights, those British tanks are actually medium tanks. Now many players think those tanks close the gap between mids and lights, even on lower tiers. But is this true? In today's video I want to present the tier 7 tank, the FSV scheme Alpha. So without further ado, let's talk about its strength and weaknesses. Alright, FSV Scheme Alpha in a nutshell. This tank does not have any armor whatsoever. So, on the other hand, this means that it has a very good mobility. And I would say the mobility is above average. But, as you can see, it cannot compete against the against the ultra-fast tanks like the HWK-30 or the Burrusk or even the GSO 1010. So, the mobility is a bit disappointing in my opinion. It is above average, but as you can see, not really superb. Now, the next drawback of this tank is its inferior gun depression. Only 5 degrees means that you cannot work on every place of the map. As you can see, I have to fall back and move a little bit more to the left-hand side in order to be able to take a shot onto the rain. Now, as you can see, the gun handling is really, really nice. Aim time is good. The gun is ultra precise and it is really fun to use this gun. So in my opinion, this is a good summary of the FSV scheme Alpha. Now, the drawback of the gun is its low alpha damage of 150. The penetration values of 185 on the standard ammunition and of 220 mm on the premium shells are fantastic. But the, the, the alpha damage is lackluster, especially if you're fighting against tier 8 or tier nine vehicles and um, look at how unimpressed the object 704 is um, because we make now in this case even short of 150 alpha but but it is simply not enough to to bring the necessary firepower into the game if you're fighting against tier 9 tanks so that is quite a disadvantage of this tank on tier 7 the damage the the alpha damage of 150 works but on tier 8 and tier 9 it is simply lackluster now, low alpha damage also means that you have a very low reload time. So take a look at what we can do with this tank. So this tank is trying to push us out. We can track him because we have an ultra precise gun with which we can do snapshots like in no other tank. And we can simply fall back into cover. So this autoloader tank does not have a chance against us. And we can all the time track him. And due to the fact that we have a slightly high alpha, slightly higher alpha damage, he has no chance whatsoever so we move out of cover we take a shot but that is not a problem and we simply track him now he even has to reload is his clip and so there's nothing he can do and we can simply uh, take him out by keeping him tracked due to the high precision gun in our tank so how do i play this tank well first of all this is how my crew looks like my commander does have the view range skills so recon and situational awareness and then he is working on concealment then my gunner has uh, brothers in arms uh, concealment and intuition and then the driver also has brothers in arms the smooth ride and then also concealment this is how i've set up my crew and then as far as it, as equipment goes i play this tank with an improved ventilation system then with coated optics and with low noise exhaust system and this makes this tank or converts this tank into a medium light tank hybrid so look at the concealment values 43 when stationary and 34.6 when on the move this is insane for a medium tank and the view range is 450 and so i can really play this tank as a spotter and um, get decent spotting um, results in this tank um, besides this um, yeah of course uh, only 150 average damage and also the dpm is lackluster however the gun is super precise and the mobility is 
um, as you saw on the good side however nothing out of the ordinary all right so let's jump into the first game and see how this tank can perform all right here we are in the first game with the fsv scheme alpha we are in a top tier match we are spawning on malinovka and there are two light tanks in the game but first of all let's see let's take a look at the map and see what options we have Spawning on Malinovka in the south with the FSV scheme Alpha. This is how the game usually develops. And with the with the medium tank, you have several options. You can play here passively. You can uh, proceed on top of the hill. And uh, depending on the tank, I sometimes go to this position in order to spot the tanks proceeding on top of the hill in order to give my team the first um, um, yeah, advantage and inf information um, about how many tanks of the enemy team are proceeding on top of the hill. But in a top tier situation, I am proceeding to this position here because I think it is super, super strong because I can spot most of the map where the adversary tanks are located. And so in order to get there unspotted, I proceed like this because if you proceed here on the seven lane then you will get spotted by those tanks um, as soon as you cross here so i proceed like this into this position and from here i try to go into this bush in order to outspot the adversary tanks okay so as i said we are top tier and i think in a top tier situation it is imperative to play more aggressively than compared to a mid-tier or low tier situation so i want to use the mobility of the tank and the spotting capability that i just showed you in the garage in order to um quickly um let's say force the adversary team to make mistakes fortunately um one of the two adversary light tanks is simply rushing into our base and will soon get taken out nice and so we have an advantage now i always proceed to the d5 position like this in order to not get spotted until i cross this bush here and um, as you can see it is something that that i really recommend now on my way to the little ditch i spot opponents i also get spotted and i get a shot but i think this is fine now notice how the speed of those wheeled medium tanks are significantly is significantly decreased as soon as one wheel is damaged and as the, the as the wheels are basically 50 percent of your side profile chances are that as soon as you get hit your speed is significantly reduced so you should never make an aggressive push if you do not have your repair kit available this is super super important on um, for those uh, wheel british medium tanks and now i um i made it into this position but now i want to make sure that i can go on top of the hill in this bush without being spotted and this is why i always peek out and fall back instantaneously because i expect um, any adversary tanks to be in the bush right in front of me and so i want to basically test this out plus get one or another shot like this and then later on i will try to move into the bush fortunately our team is uh, playing on top of the hill which is great and maybe we can use our precision gun or precise sniper gun in order to get some crossfire shots onto the hill and as you can see it is working nicely so yeah um this tank has let's say a good mobility it has an ultra precise gun with which you can really manage to hit opponents which are far away as you can see um so the gun really is the strong part of this tank not the alpha not the alpha damage but certainly the precision of the gun and also the the very very short aim time of only stock of only uh, 1.73 seconds all right so let's see how it goes the game is so far relatively close and you know what as you can see the tank traverse is super super lackluster another disadvantage of the cell okay there's the panzer 4 and i i thought he would be able to spot me but um, looks like he is not able and so now it is time for me to move up into this bush right here so okay i am spotted and you know what i got spotted by the fsv 
scheme alpha of the enemy team and so yeah he is in this position and so um as long as he is alive i will not be able to go into the bush without getting spotted so i need to make sure that he will be taken out of the game hopefully he is now falling back so he will not be a problem anymore for me but we will see looks like our team is able to to win the hill which is fantastic so i do not uh, i do not need to fall back and so once again i want to now go into the bush um, and try to spot the adversary tanks. All right, so, okay, here you go. Okay, I'm spotted once again. Yeah, and you know what? Looks like the, looks like the FSV Scheme Alpha is still in this position. So um, I think this is the reason why I get spotted all the time moving up into this bush. Yeah, here, here you go. He went into this bush this little sneaky tank and so now i need to here you go i need to i think i destroyed the the wheel of this tank nice and now another wheel is destroyed his speed is significantly reduced and now yep exactly that's what i want to see now he needs to be he needs to play much more defensively and so i think now it is time for me to if not uh I mean, if I can't go into the bush, I can move up here because our team has already won the hill. So uh, 9 to 3, the game is on the winning side and now it is imperative that somebody uh, proce proceeds up front and spots the remaining tanks which are positioned in the, hill, in the, in the forest. And so I think this is my task because um, I am the best spotter on my team. The other two um, light tanks are already dead actually the amx uh, 13fl11 is uh, still alive however he's not a good spotter at least not compared to my tank so i think it is my task to spot for our team and so i would simply move out and try to use my speed um, in order to spot the remaining tanks so let's see how it goes um, is there another tank let's see now in this situation it is imperative that you are the first one spotting the adversary tanks in order to get all the spotting damage for yourself so let's see okay there's no tank in this portion <laughs> interesting so the adversary tanks have all moved back down to the one lane if that is not a problem here you go there's the artillery yep here you go should be spotted soon nice we can take one shot and here you go, artillery is taken out and um, I am not spotted so far and you know what, I will simply go bam, kill this tank and now there's the adversary light tank, not a problem whatsoever, I think we can simply move out, after all he has only I think 110 alpha damage so I do not even need to fall back he can take a shot which is okay i can track him and now i get the assisting damage so yeah so this brought us to 1600 damage and 1200 assisting damage overall a pretty decent result so far but there are three more tanks that we can farm here go we should take out the yeah go as you can see the the precision of the gun is simply wonderful and it's so much fun to work with such a precise gun it is really fantastic and i think the the precision of the gun really compensates the drawbacks of this tank so i had fun playing this tank and as you can see um with our spotting capability and with our precise gun we managed to get 1800 damage and a bit more than 1400 assisting damage so overall a pretty decent result and let's now jump into the next game all right another top tier game this time we are spawning on pearl river and let's first of all once again take a look at the map and see what options we have spawning on pearl river in the south the game usually develops like this and with the fsv scheme alpha you have several options you can play on the left hand side um, and proceed into this position maybe even advance to the g1 position depending on the adversary tanks but in my opinion this flank is not as important as the middle and so i try to support my team in winning the middle and then you can either try to maybe advance like this maybe advance into the middle or even go to the heavy lane and then proceed like this in order to make pressure right here in the middle all right 
so I'm presenting you another top tier game and I really found out that playing this tank what I should say or I should um, um, what I want to say is if you play this tank in a top tier situation your tank is really strong because the the disadvantage of the low relatively low alpha damage is let's say compensated by the fact that your adversary tanks also do not have a, a uh, let's say in higher alpha damage um, in a low tier situation against tier 8 and tier 9 tanks this is different and in those games i really thought that it is beneficial to play this tank more as a spotting vehicle than as a damage dealer this is why i also think it is overall beneficial to play this tank with coated optics and also with an exhaust system in order to push this tank to a medium light tank hybrid um yeah okay so um we could manage to move into this position and so um we can help our team to basically deny the at least some of the adversary tanks to play on the heavy lane but now i get proxy spotted and so i want to fall back in order to um not reveal my position for too long because um then other tanks will certainly try to take shots onto my position okay there's an there's um let's see can we get a shot onto the maybe no okay i think i cannot i will be spotted as soon as the m10 moves out of cover you know what there's the kv122 back there trying to make pressure and i think it is time to fall into the rear of this tank and to help out our um our tanks but you know what he's moving to my direction so i do not want to i simply do not want to brawl frontly against this tank because um after two shots i will be one shot and i will i i want to try i want to preserve my hp until the end of the game so let's see how it goes um i ping the map so to let the churchill one know that the kv 122 is approaching and i will simply wait here and I will try to spot the adversary tanks pushing into our base. Here they go, here they, here they come. And I think I have a distinct advantage because I can fall out, move out of cover. I can wait until I'm not spotted anymore, then move out of cover and then take a snapshot um, with my high precision gun and then instantaneously fall back into cover. And so, as the real as the as the aiming time of those tanks is significantly longer than my aiming time i think they will not be able to hit me uh, meanwhile we can farm the tiger 131 excellent and he's he is not even able to spot me and so we can simply farm him yeah excellent nice so i always try to aim um below the below the turret or at the rear of the tank where the engine is so either to, in order to either get an ammo rack um or to destroy the engine of this tank it looks like this uh, player is lucky now oh, here you go okay and you know what we will here go we will wait until he moves around his turret um and we will well, actually okay this is the last remaining tank and uh, plus i'm all almost full hp so i need to fall out of cover in order to okay i bounce the shot which is very fortunate there you go and you know what okay he's destroyed okay and now i need to rush to the m6 in order to get even more damage so far 1800 damage so as i said in a top tier game this tank is really strong due to its mobility due to its um average firepower when it comes to alpha damage in a top tier situation plus due to its super precise gun and once again it's really fun to play this tank plus it is in a top tier situation one of the, one of the best spotting tanks on the battlefield and this combination makes this tank really really strong in a top tier situation okay perfect 2200 damage and let's now jump into the last game Okay, last game. This time we're spawning on Pilsen. And let's first of all take a look at the map and see what options we have. Spawning on Pilsen in the south with the FSV Scheme Alpha, you have several options. You can go to the zero lane, which is kind of a standard gameplay, but I like to go to the middle. 
not only in a light tank but also in a medium tank and try to win this position because if i win this position i can take cross shots onto the zero lane i can even sometimes spot those tanks um, pushing on the zero lane but i can also get cross shots into the middle if uh, one of the enemy team or uh, enemy tanks tries to uh, proceed up here into the middle but then i can also um, advance to this position and maybe proxy spot those tanks and even get cross shots onto this uh, delta lane here to those heavy tanks so in my opinion this is a much more flexible gameplay and a really beneficial one all right so on pilsen on pilsen as i just explained i usually try to proceed to the seven eight and nine lane in order to be flexible because then you have multiple options you can support the zero lane but also get crossfire into the middle and also push up front and maybe spot the tanks um, which are positioned at the C8 position. Okay, um, the Type 64 also goes to the middle, which is good in my opinion. And here you go, and as you can see, bam, I have the much better snapshot capability compared to this tier 6 tank. And so, you know what, let's try to track him. Here you go. Um, I wanted to show you this game because it really shows you uh, not only the strength of this tank in a top tier situation but also the power of conducting track shots and tracking your opponents which is always um, beneficial in order to squeeze out a better result um, out, of, out of every game. Here you go, um, one shot onto the stack out. and um, yeah so you should always try to, to uh, track your opponents and the good thing about this tank is, as it has such a precise gun, it really helps you to track your opponents with, uh, you know, even with a snapshot, if it is necessary. Okay, and now there's the situation which I already showed you in the intro video. So this tank is trying to push us out, but with a little bam track shot, we can stop him at the current position and fall back into cover. He has no chance of getting a second shot and now we can trade one by one and we simply keep him tracked. And so he has, he has no chance because he has lower alpha damage plus um, his DPM is effectively reduced. Now the stack count is making a, uh, a bad mistake, peeking out, noticing that he does not have enough gun depression in order to get a shot onto me. And so I can take him out. Um, with the help of, of our teammates and I simply farm the poor little T25 driver and he has once again no chance whatsoever. Okay, perfect. So 1400 damage so far. Nice. Now there's a T43 pushing me um, and as you can see I have a little bit of problem. A little problem with my gun depression. Now I get it. Uh, I get a shot but I need to fall back into cover and um, um, move out of, of uh, this situation in order to stay alive because I only have 144 um, hit points remaining. Now, I, unfortunately, I need to wait until my um, repair kit is available. My fuel tank is hit, but um, on the other hand, this is not too much of a problem because I'm one shortable anyway. And so if I get a shot by the T43, I will be taken out of the game anyway. Okay, so let's fall back. Let's play a bit more defensively in order to not be taken out by the T43 because after all, there's a lot of damage um, to make in the game so far and I certainly don't want to miss this opportunity. Okay, so let's see. If he moves out, we can take a shot onto him. Bam, a snapshot. Nice. Um, he was focusing the medium tank of our team the stack count and so yeah okay so let's see what we can do um can we get a shot onto the um onto the tiger the heavy tank number six uh no we spotted you go okay no we cannot so far but i think i think so far it is already a decent result but maybe we can make some more damage in this game okay um i'm going to help the poodle on the zero lane here you go and can we hmm okay he's taken out okay um so i need to fall back and once again look at the look and look at the traverse speed of the of the tank traverse i should say 
which is really lackluster. That's uh, a great disadvantage, a huge disadvantage of this tank. But that's just how it is. Um, that applies for all those British wheeled medium tanks. All right, so maybe it's time for a conclusion. So what do I think about this tank? Well, I had fun playing this tank. This tank is extremely strong if you know what you are doing in a top tier situation. However, this tank is like luster in a low tier situation, even more like luster than compared to other tier seven tanks. Now, this tank has an ultra precise gun. As I told you multiple times in this video, the speed is okay. I wish it would be a little bit better, but I mean, you can take a turbo on this tank if you like. The tank traverse is like luster plus the alpha damage is like luster. And so, yeah, you get a very interesting combination of the stats on this tank. And um, I thought it was really interesting to play this tank. It adds a new kind of tank to the game. And this is a good thing. And yeah, so I had a lot of fun playing this tank, especially in in my top tier games. Okay, so um, let's see whether we can get one more shot onto the rear of this tank. Excellent, nice, we can take him out. So the fourth kill, actually the third kill. Actually, we did not kill this tank, okay, funny. Um, okay, and so far there is now only the Super Hellcat in our uh, in the game. So we simply want to rush this tank and get some more damage. 1,900 damage so far, 1,400 assisting damage, and now... Can we get some more damage? Simply move out. And okay. Should have played a bit more cautiously maybe. But in the end, I think this is once again a decent result. Um, at least we get some spotting damage. And so overall, it is um, a game with um, 3.4k damage, which is nice. And I think overall a very decent result in the FSV scheme alpha. Alright guys, that was it for today with the video about the new tier 7 British wheeled medium tank, the FSV Scheme Alpha. Do you like this tank? Do you like the new British wheeled tech tree line? Just leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Consider subscribing to my channel and I see you next time in another World of Tanks video.